Hello Scorpio, welcome to Tarot Predictions. I'm Rad and I am a fellow Scorpio as well. So this will be a tarot scope for March 2017 and without further ado, let's see what the cards have in store for us for that month. So the first one is Ten of, pen, ten of Wands. By the way, I saw the cards guys and it seems that they are crazy month is coming for us. So the first one, Ten of Wands. The second one is the Six of Pentacles. The third one is the Two of Wands. And the fourth one is the Four of Pentacles. So first things first, for your career, it is, seems that you are going to be very, very busy. A lot of things are going to move around. A lot of ideas, a lot of projects are going to pass through you. And they will require your attention. That will kind of make you a little bit under pressure, a little bit under stress, but in the same time will allow you to have a very, very good achievement into your career, into your job. So it seems that right now you do have everything you need, I mean, as an, an opportunity to prove yourself in front of others, to find your way of how the things has to be done, to find your approach, to find the solutions that you are seeking. And all these will come through your ability, Scorpio, to welcome everything new, to welcome every opinion, but in the same time knowing that you are just as strong as others in order to push through and to execute what you want to do. So it is very important here, guys, it is very important that you allow your creative expression to go forward. Try, allow yourself to experiment. Don't clinch into the proven concepts. Because if these proven concepts work for you, they may uh, work for somebody else, they may not work for you. So that's why you need to try people. And at the start of the month, uh, it, it may not be that beneficial. However, the more you try and the more you see what works for you here, the more you will see the benefits from it, from these, from these experiments. And it is where you will start aligning with your career. It is where you will start extracting benefits from what works for you and leaving behind what doesn't work for you. The way I see that card here, guys, it's you finding yourself and where you stand regards to your career and how you can maximize the most of you and the most of your skills and achievements. And, um, and knowledge, sorry. Then we are having the six of uh, the six of pentacles, and that's negativity this month, guys. You can't rely on help, okay? You can't rely on someone else to take decisions for you. You need to take them on your own because otherwise, even though the approach of others, let's say um, your supervisor or your manager or someone that you rely to tell you how one thing is done, even though it may work at the start. That it, it will be just a temporary success, it will not solve your problems, it will not give you prosperity and thus you may find yourself into a very stuck situation after that. So the very important decisions needs to be made on your own. Uh, you need to, again, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but you need to find your own way to express yourself, your own way to execute your skills and your own brand, it is what you need to find do it this month guys into your career. Um, another important thing here is someone that may um, try to get into you because they sit in a higher place than you are. So if that's the case people try to slow to swallow it, try to not pay attention to it. It will just go away when the time as the time passes. You can't do much about it, okay? Right now. So don't allow your emotions to speak instead of your mind to speak. What I mean is that think before you say something because it will have a great impact on you and on your career if you speak something harshly, if you say something that you're not supposed to say. Then the, the third card, guys, that's the two of wands and this is the positivity that you can have this month in regards to your career. So, with the positivity here, guys, it seems that the already existing knowledge, already existing um, skills, they will be put to the test, which means that they will be, 
they will be tested in a way that you will start expanding them even more and more. You will always search what you can do more to be successful. You you have to search and you have to search for what you can know and what knowledge you can acquire to be more successful. The achievements you have placed in the past, this card always speaks like this, okay? A grand achievement is a grand achievement. Yes, you have done very well into particular fields of your career in the past, but you can do more and this is where you need to find yourself, you, you need to find your place among others. You need to find your place where you are the best. So that card also speaks here in this particular combination that you may be able to do something better than others but you haven't uncovered it yet. And it is where the Ten of Wands is saying that you will experiment and you will find it, you will do it and you will be really recognized for it. So focus first however on the old issues you need to, you need to work calmly. Okay, you need to work calmly knowing that no one, nothing and no one will pop up along ro your road forward. So at the start of the month guys, take time to see what isn't finished before and finish it if you have to. Most likely finish it, I mean that you have to finish it. So you can go uh, unobstructed forward after that, you can go peacefully after that to expand your knowledge and your skills. This card also speaks that you need to allow yourself to see beyond your nose, furthermore than your nose, which means that you need to realize how much better you can be, okay? And it is what is gonna come in your way. It's about, like I said, exploring new fields, making your plan, moving forward based on what your experiments are, give, are proving that works for you and does. After that, guys, after that, we are seeing you here with the Four of Pentacles, okay? So you already created your plan that will give you monetary success, solidifying your place, placing you into your own, your own patterns, your own plans, your, your, your own plans will already work here. Though you may have to take some defensive uh, position, against others because there will be still people who dispute you but the results here guys will speak for themselves that's why it's gonna be a crazy month it is a be a crazy month because we are about to find people where we can be the most successful at in our career then if we're talking about relationship here people it seems that um with the, it is a little bit harder to read these cards for these cards for relationship. So I will just go with the four of them because it's one by one. You will just lose yourself in them. So first things first. You need to you need to give more to the relationship. Okay, you can't stay in the same place right now. For example, just just for example, only dating. You need to uh, you need to be more brave to take a further step into one relationship. For example, proposing engagement and these kind of stuff. But regardless of that, <clears throat> you, need to, you need to really find out for yourself what exactly will be most beneficial for that relationship. Here, however, experimenting is not the right way to be done, and um, you got to clinch on what you know to be true for your partner to work. That's, that's kind of really hard. So if your partner is very touchy, don't provoke them. If your partner likes a, a certain surprises, do that. However, it is, kind of, it is kind of difficult, people. It is kind of difficult. So you need to know that your relationship this month depends entirely, guys, entirely on you. Depends how much you give for how much you take. Now at the start you may take less than what you give, but this shouldn't discourage you, okay? You you should believe into the into the brighter future. You should believe that right now your partner, you should know that right now when you start giving your partner is confused, probably they don't know why you're giving so much because you do care, but you need to allow your your actions to speak louder than your words, you know, so don't try to, that, to to draw them by you constantly saying that you love them, not that you don't love them, however, you need to start acting upon your love, 
With that being said, you got to search what actually gives harmony in one relationship. You got to explore what <clears throat> where that harmony lies. You got to explore what really makes your partner feel loved and you should start doing it, which means that <clears throat> some of the some of the actions you have to do may not be something that you usually do, may come to a surprise to you, may, may come as a shock to you. However, that will give you a great benefit furthermore and will really prove your love towards your partner. And then it seems that your relationship will solidify big time. Um, your partner will fully have trust in you so you can start taking care of the relationship itself so you can take on the lead of that relationship and <clears throat> and you know lead it toward a brighter future creating it your own little empire creating it your own little estate um, you need to also start giving more and more support when that when that time comes to your partner because your partner will become much more vulnerable to the exterior influences than you are and you have to be the one who is strong stepping out forward to saying to people uh, or standing up for the relationship itself and you constantly have to start proving to the people that you do really care for that relationship and that relationship means a lot to you if not everything for you and for these cards I see I think that this relationship means everything for you so <clears throat> you really have to be the one who is taking care of it and you really have to be the one who is supporting it and gives every single effort to uh, maintain the relationship as the relationship is but again this particular realization of yours that the relationship entirely relies on you may give you a, a sense of power okay a sense of power upon your partner a sense of power of the relationship a sense of power that whatever you say goes this can this is something that can ruin you even though you gave much more at this very moment right now than what you have than what you have taken from it remember that time shifts things change and one day you may be the one who receives than takes so whatever you give guys whatever you give scorpio Give it from your pure heart because it will matter the most to the person you are loving. For those single, they are about to say enough is enough, people with these four cards. They are, they are about to say that they don't want to be single anymore. They, they will say that it is pointless to lead that life. So what this is going to force them, okay? This, this, this is obvious, but it's, it's going to force them to seek out, to go up, to empathize with more people, but to know their place among the other people, to find a, a social circle, to find a, a person, a, a people that can date with or something like this. I mean, on, to, on their level, on their level of interests. So it's about finding people with mutual interests. And out of these people, it seems that, you, uh, that you're going to give a, a great hope, hopes to a particular one of them, okay, and uh, <clears throat> you will start to explore more and more about that person, you will start learning more and more about that person, and the more you learn, the, the more you will see that this person is the right one for you, and around the end of the month, we are seeing you making a certain commitment here, it may not be a, a healthy relationship as the way we accept how one healthy relationship should look like, but the very least will give you a, a, a sense of security, a sense of being in a comfort zone and a sense of being in a place or with someone or in a sense of having someone around you that really will be there for you always and you feel protected, you feel secure for whatever else it's going to happen around you. At least you have that person that you can go forward with and you can do things much much better in the term of that you can initiate a particular relationship further in the future so be open people for everybody new who aligns with your interests so you can give them a chance to prove their loyalty to you to prove their um to prove that they're trustworthy remember pentacles as the final card 
they always rely on trust so that relationship that you have with this person will rely more on, more on trust or will be based more on trust than love which is a, a fantastic thing because if you do have the trust in someone love comes after that and um, whenever this is what I like to say wherever there is trust there is love as well so stay, stay tuned with, uh, with yourself and try to find the one that aligns best with your interest. With that being said, people, Scorpio, that was the telescope for March 2017. Again, crazy month for us, guys. A lot of us to prove and um, a lot of ex experimentations are coming, especially for our career. It is about finding ourselves and where our, where our place stand for the next year, probably. So be very, very accountable for what you want to do because whatever you do it will whatever you do either good or bad you will reap the the fruits of your labor and with that being said that was it guys see you next time you have a great one and bye